Alright folks, this is what we're playing for tonight. We're playing for the Flash Tadpole Jr. Okay, Tadpole Jr. comes in a lot of colors. Y'all can check it out. The Flash color is great for clear water to just a little bit of stain. Uh, since, since I made this video, we've had some rain, so the water's got a little bit more color to it. But it'll surprise you. The Virginia Shad is close to the Flash color, but it has chartreuse flake in it. And some black flake in it. Uh, flash is two silvers. It's just a smoke color with light two sizes of silver flake in it. That's why it's called flash. Because it's very flashy in the water. Kind of looks like a uh, minnow when he turns in the water and the sun hits him. You get that little silver flash. That's what it looks like. Good natural color, okay? That's what we're playing for. All right. Hope everybody's had a good week. Uh, it's been raining here today, off and on. And it's supposed to get colder after this rain, guys. Even down to freezing tomorrow night, we've only had one real good frost this year where it left the roofs of, a, of the homes uh, white. So that could happen uh, tomorrow night. And uh, all that's going to affect the fishing, isn't it? Fishing here has been good at times, and then there's days that you struggle to catch them. I think that's fall fishing. When those warm-up spells come and it actually warmed up, I made a video about that, I think that actually hurt the fishing. <laughs> I don't think that helped any, that's for sure. All right, guys, let's see what kind of number we come up with. Y'all ready? 87. Wow. Okay. All right. Flash Tadpole Jr. for the catch. Let's, uh, let's see. We didn't get as many views this week. Number's 87. So right off the bat there, Aaron was 55. Okay, write him down. 25. Number is 87. Keep on going here. All right, 80. All right, he had 55. Aaron did, that knocks him out. That's 80. Uh, Brody. Okay, write that down. 17, 200. Makes it easier when it's a low number. 33. All, some, a lot of y'all guys put low numbers this week. Numbers 87. We have an 80. Oh, oh no. 84. Musical chairs. Okay. Well, there you go. It looks like 84, doesn't it? 84. Numbers 87. I missed going back through and checking. All right. So you never know when you hit that thing what kind of numbers will give us 100 right there. You never know, do you? 55. There you go. All right, then. He won. I'll, I'll uh, comment him, tell him he won. He can send me his address. I like to, for y'all to send me your address like that because I don't know if you never moved you, uh, or uh, something like that. Uh, that's happened to <laughs> that's already happened to me this year. Somebody moved during the time and I pulled their address off the off of Lake Country Bates and that that that's not, that didn't work. But he got it. I think he did get the package. So there you go. Uh, fall fishing is here as I mentioned. Water's cooling. I fished uh, Saturday because I've been busy this week. And I made the video that y'all watched today, and I made a port of catch Saturday. So that's coming up this for Sunday. And uh, they're calling for high winds here after this rain. It's supposed to cool, cold front come in. It's going to cool off, of course. But the wind's going to be like 12 to uh, 16 miles an hour. So that makes for tough fishing, done if you got to fight the wind. So I probably won't get out. I don't th <clears throat> excuse me. I don't think... Uh, I don't think we're going to have any good weather from what I looked at on the uh, weather underground till Monday. And as of right now, I don't have Monday planned to work, so I reckon I'll get out Monday for next Wednesday's video and uh, next Sunday's video. So 
Let's hope the fish are biting then, right? But it's cool weather coming in Thursday and Friday. It's going to make a big difference on the fish movement. Fish are moving around a lot here. I'm sure they are on y'all's lakes too with this fall weather. I've seen uh, schools that were roaming. I probably mentioned it in the video today. I found some fish on a stump. And it was, it was two schools that I could see sitting in one spot that were about 20 to 30 feet from me. And I threw at this one school four or five times, caught one or two out of it, I think. And then I looked at the other school. So I saw I threw at them a couple of times. I came back around to you know, give, that other, give the first school a chance to forget about me, right? When I came back to the first school, they wasn't there. They was gone, just an empty stump. And after that, it wasn't long, I, uh, I seen a school coming in. I seen a school crapper coming at me. And they went over to another stump to my right. I seen them stop there. So I threw at them once or twice. But that's how much they're moving. They're just moving around more uh, during the day. Usually during the here is uh, they move at night a lot, early and late in the morning. That's why I usually don't go fishing about 9 or 10 o'clock in the summertime. By that time, they done, they done tied up onto a boathouse. And they usually won't leave that boathouse, but I've had some, some of them leave. They usually stay right there. They might back up or they switch sides of it, right? But this time of year, they're moving a lot during the day, just kicking around. Uh, I think I think it's a lot of shad right now, it seems like, in these creeks. And I think it's what they're doing. They're just kicking around and, and getting to take an opportunity to feed on the shad. Appreciate everybody. Good luck to everybody. Uh, you get to do some fishing this week. Uh, next, This coming Sunday's port of catch It's going to be on the sub. That's right. So y'all stay tuned for that. It's been a great little bait. Uh, it'll surprise you. It's only an inch and a quarter, but it, hey, it catches fish, as you'll see coming up. Appreciate y'all. See y'all next time.